As you'll recall, our guest is a local Guyanese actor who've made it to the silver screen. He's made known that during his tenure as an actor, reporting to work when requested to do so, he's only seen one other Guyanese actor in the field. Now, as a fellow Guyanese, we're somewhat tranquil in our approach to being in the public eye. Nevertheless, this should not be our explanation for not wanting to pursue this career path. We are beautiful people with a lot of culture that's desirous to many out there. Be brave and take the step. Don't be afraid to fall, but encourage yourselves to take your beloved country's name to the international levels. Here's more of the exclusive interview with Mahadeo Shivraj, only here on Exposed TV. Well, now you've taken, in the past, you've taken speaking, non-speaking roles. Yeah. Are you open to taking on Bollywood films? I think any actor will jump at any opportunity that comes um, because you have to you have to do as much as you could and then you 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 can be in a position to um, choose <laughs> I'm not in a position to choose right now and so um, whatever comes I'll have to take um, I'm talking about Bollywood um, you know in 1988 I did a play at a cultural center on the Indian um, uh, High Commissioner mm -hmm. To Guyana from India he came and he was impressed with my performance in the play and they gave me a scholarship to go to India and I was accepted at the Film Institute of Pune where Amitabh, uh, right. Jai Baduri, they all went there and um, my son was was born at the same time and my father told me you know you shouldn't go because I had a cousin who went to India to study medicine he got real sick and they had to bring him home and I think as my father was thinking very limited in his way there that, you know what, this is my son, he's going to go away, he's going to leave his wife, son, and things like that. And you don't know what it's going to be mm -hmm. like. Nobody's in India. We don't have no family or friends or anything there. And I didn't go. And sometimes I, uh, it, it come, it, I think about it that from 1988 um, to 1993, I would have been finished. I'm, I probably would have been acting in those movies, you know. Wow. But, you know, I also feel that everything in this life happens for a reason. And so um, when you look back in retrospect, um, everything that happens there was a reason. You can mm -hmm. see sometimes um, obstacles come not to really um, throw you off, but really to make you stronger, you know. Definitely. And um, I think whatever happens, happens for the best. The best. <laughs> yes, they always say that, you know, every door that closes, a couple more open. Yeah, so. definitely. Now, back to that role that you would want to play. As an actor, is there a role that, that ideal role that you have your eyes on? And as a producer, mm -hmm. what script would you like to be a part of? Um, well, I think every actor will say, I want to be a part of a good script. If Hollywood knew um, what movie will be a hit, they will make only hits, or Bollywood. But many, many times you hear they made 100 movies this year, 96 flopped. Mm -hmm. Nobody has the formula. I've, he I've heard many um, Hollywood directors, either in their autobiography or biography or interviews, they talk about if they knew what it is. I think Steven Spielberg probably came the closest to being perfect. In, in coming out with hits. So um, if I had it, um, the opportunity to choose, I would say, hey, I want to be in a film that's going to be a hit. Um, <laughs> but um, first of all, getting into a film is more important than whether it's going to be a hit or not. not. Um, <laughs> so um, I don't know which direction I should go and what to choose, but I would just, just being in the film alone is satisfying for me. Um, what I would like to, um, what role I would like to do, uh, I don't know if I had a choice what I would go with. I just wanted the role to be something that, um, something that will influence people in a good way, in a very positive way. Um, that when they see it, it could affect them to such an extent that it brings about some change in their lives. That is the type of role I would like to do. Uh, influence them in a very positive mm -hmm. way. That is something I would love to do. Um, I've had opportunities to do many plays and I know it would have influenced people in good ways. Um, I had a variety of roles. Doing 90 plays, there are so many roles. Hard, hard, it's very difficult to find a role that you haven't done before when, after doing so many, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about stage here. Right. In film, it's new, uh, it's new. So if you get, whatever it is, it's different. Um, 
But uh, yeah, I think to answer your question is something that can influence people and bring about some change in their life positively. And it wouldn't hurt if your character was Guyanese. Oh, no, no. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you know, when I told you earlier that um, I think when I look back at this play that I just did, um, I'm going to say it's probably one of the best, if not the best. The reason, uh, for two reasons. One, it's the first time that I've played a politician. Um, uh, and I played a politician in post-independence India. Mm -hmm. And what I liked about the character that I played there is that he stood up for what was right. And he maintained that there must be democracy in the home. And he insisted that his children and his wife and himself and the public, the people who he came in contact with, they must have values as their foundation, moral values. And I love that. And I think that um, it was, I felt so strong about, I feel so strongly about those things that playing the role um, came naturally and easy. When I read the script, I said to, my, to myself, I'm not a politician, but this guy, this is me. This is me. I felt close to the character um, uh, because I, I believe in that. I believe in positivity and I believe in sharing um, values with people that you come into contact with. I think our vibrations, we are strong. We are very deep and um, spiritual beings and um, we can influence a lot. Um, without even moving from where we are, by just having that strong, positive belief, and letting our vibrations emanate and touch others, you know? Great. Um, that is a good, uh, <laughs> the, good sense to live by. Um, I just had a thought, and I don't know, you may have thought about this yourself. Laugh Till Your Belly Bust on Broadway? Um, <laughs> again. In the future? <laughs> Well, who knows? Who knows? That, that's a possibility. That's a possibility. I, I, I'm not going to comment on that. <laughs> it's something to think about because yeah. especially, you know, it's, if it's the first um, Guyanese show on Broadway, yeah, that yeah, would be yeah. an awesome, awesome deal. <laughs> that's a possibility. Now, would you like to leave some final words with our audience? Oh, sure. But first of all, let me say thanks to you and to Tony for having me here. Uh, my sincerest best wishes for all your endeavors in the future. And for the audience, I just want to say um, be good and do good because that is the most important thing. Be good and do good. Always, always, always. Well, thank you very much too. And we have to thank you even much more for taking time out of your busy, nah, busy schedule for being on Exposed. <laughs> Thank you. Would you come back if oh, sure. time permits? I wish I could stay. <laughs> <laughs> we thank our guest, Mahadeo Shivraj, for being on the show. I'm Sarah, and you're watching Exposed, brought to you by Stealth Productions. It's that time, folks, where we must bring the show to a halt. We thank our wonderful guest for being on Exposed TV and sharing his lifelong pursuit of acting, directing and producing hit works of art, Mahadeo Shivraj. And to your audience, we thank you so much for allowing us into your living rooms. Check out our Exposed TV website for more showtimes and hope to see you next time. Once again, I'm Sarah and this is another production by Stealth Productions. Oh, them a wonder, some of them a panda Just because of me there is a whole lot of drama Cause the way me flip me grandma uh -huh. Me a get the honor And enough of them can believe me is a guy and these manna Them they a wonder, some of them a panda Just because of me there is a whole lot of drama Cause the way me flip me grandma Me a get the honor And enough of them can believe me is a guy and these manna Oh yes, stop your speculating, no need to guess Right now, you're looking at one of the best yeah. in a DDJ school Yes, me pass every test from roots to reality, hey, culture please. and slackness To know the art of the music, take a lot of practice I put the music in my heart so nothing can stop yeah, this You know see a goddess, GT bodice, straight and plain This is reggae fanatic, the natural mystic So mysterious, the birth of a genius, one of the alias Spectaculous, ah so amazing Ignite the fire, this is ever blazing Oh, them a wonder, some of them a pan just because of me there is a whole lot of drama Cause the way me flip me grammar Me a get the honor And enough of them can believe me is a guy and he's manna yeah. Them they a wonder Some of them a panda Just because of me there is a whole lot of drama Cause the way me flip me grammar Me a get the honor